everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Conan Exiles, Isle of Siptah. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing pretty good myself. Don't forget to mind you all, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens, because look at this. Some stuff has happened. Uh, shout out to Funcom. They gave me early access to this expansion. Not just DLC, but expansion. You got to say it like that. Uh, which is a brand new map um, and new mechanics and things like that. New building sets. Uh, it, it's actually pretty cool. A uh, little background on this is uh, where we have Isle of Sipta is inspired by the short story, The Gem the Tower, um, which sounds pretty cool. Um, you enter the island as a conflict on route to the uh, exiled lands to live out your days as an exile. However, a savage storm tears your ship apart, whether by curse or fortune, you are left stranded on this mysterious place. Yes, it's a whole brand new map area, full leveling experience outside of the exiled lands. So that is really exciting. Uh, there are some cool things to note too that's that's new in this. Uh, on, on top of the new map, there's two new building sets and it also introduces the rhinoceros mount, which is something I know people have been asking for a while. I've been looking forward to that too. Um, there's also three new um, events types gameplay loops going on now. You have the vaults, the maelstrom, and also the surge. Uh, and, and the interesting thing is you can acquire thralls still in this, but it works a bit differently into it uh, compared to the, 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 I guess, the base game. Um, the wild surges of sorcery will randomly spawn from the dark tower in the center of the island. Seek out these surges and you will find human NPCs who have been teleported to the island through dark sorcery. If you knock them out, you can drag them back to your base and set them to work in the wheel of pain, which is, you know, th that's pretty cool. Um, you can also spawn your own surges at shrines found around the tower. Uh, but first, you gotta go into the multiple dungeons on the island, which is, these dungeons are known as uh, the vaults. Um, here you'll find new resources, um, well, a new resource, Eldarium, and a powerful sigil. Eldarium is used for crafting at shrines it's by clicking on a scroll wheel on the second floor of the shrine. So, uh, pretty much, it's used to make, the uh, sigils can be used to increase the damage you do against the horrific monsters that spawn during the powerful maelstrom, which also does. So, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. And then the maelstrom, you can go in and destroy stuff, harvest of mysterious substances. Um, to be used to increase the power of the surge, increasing both the difficulty and the rewards. It's just there's a nice little mixture of gameplay loop going on here. Um, and it's pretty interesting. I think the first vault that we can do is at round level 20, and there are 14 vaults in the game right now. So that's pretty cool. Enough talk, key talk. Let's just jump right into it. Single player experience we're going to do because the servers that are available will go away after this preview, and I would like to continue on if possible. We're gonna do a new game. I have an older new game in there from a long time ago, I guess, on there. Uh, and this is your new choices. You have the Exiled Lands, and then you have the Isle of Sipta. And we're gonna choose what, I always choose default for something new, and this is the default setting. So let's just hit the play button and see what happens. Yes. All right, little cut scene here. During the year a prisoner captured by unknown means was to be transported to the exiled lands. Chained and bound aboard a slave galley out of Argos, the prisoner was carried south under threatening skies. Fate, huh? Oh, it's, it's the bat people things. Yeah, Bernie boat. Okay. Now that looks really cool. There's a tower, There's like a the lightning. And circular clouds above it, which I assume is probably a maelstrom. Oh, and the light. Oh, cool. That's kind of cool. Oh, what's oh, a okay? We got a shipwreck here. All right. Oh, this is our character creation screen. Very nice. Okay, I'm so used to being bound to a cross. Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing, honestly. Uh, mail. We're gonna make a mail because that's what I always make mail, dudes. Because you know this is what we do. All right. Um. Anyway, let's see here. We have to choose our race first. What do we have? Uh, Zingarin, we have uh, Vendahayan, Vendahayan, uh, Dafari, Shemite, we, a lot of these are standard picked. 
Nordheimer, Kushite, or Kushite, uh, Kaiten, um, Hyrukian, uh, Tur Turanian. Um, we have move, move, move. There we go. Tribal Him Himalayan, um, a Stygian, which is what we're gonna go with. And then we have what? what can I? Can we move? Can we let, let me just slide over. Uh, Sumerian and Hyborian. All right, cool. Stygian it is. Religion, it's always Mitro, the king of the sippy drinks. Uh, we have voices. I always get the learned one. Death is coming. The gods are watching. Head options. This is where we go for real. There's our faces. That's actually pretty a stalwart of a face, if you, if you ask me. I think I'm going to go with the stalwart kind of looking face. Hair, uh, you know, you guys, if you have watched the previous series, you know what the deal is. Uh, there's two kinds of non-hair, and we're going to go with the full non-hair versus the stubble. Okay, there we go. Uh, eyebrows of eyebrowness. Uh, that's actually pretty, uh, you know, uh, I would say that's that's quite... Well, it could be groomed a little better. They need to go see somebody about that. Oh, that's pretty bushy. Oh, there we go. We'll go with that one. That looks pretty menacing. That's some menacing eyebrows. All right, let's go with that. Um... Where's our, is there actual eyes? Oh, that's another part. That's eyeshadow. I typically leave it on there because you're Stygian, so might as well. Face details. I want the eyes a little bit bigger. That's about what I go with. It just looks like it could be like, there we go. That just seems like really small compared to the no nostril holes and, and the big uh, smackers there. All right. Uh, eyeball color. We'll go with the blue. There we go. Uh, body features. Um, physique. Oh, he's already pretty ripped. Can I rotate you? I cannot. I kind of, okay. Uh, what if we make him a little more buff? Oh, and the breast size. Let's make his breast a little, the pectoracles much larger here. Uh, he's done a lot of benching. That's, you know, you never skip bench day. All right, there we go. And start location. Okay, watch ashore near the ruin of an ancient Arcarian city that this area seems dangerous, okay? Uh, this desolate stretch of, wait, this is called Southwest. Uh, this desolate stretch of wreckage covered beach seems like a calm place to begin. All right, and then northeast, uh, washed up on the eastern side of the island near the old Stygian colony colony of New Luxor. This seems dangerous. And then we have where the towering trees of the forest meet the sea. This calm area offers a lot of cover just at the beach. I like that. I'm going to go with this one. I want to see the trees. If they're supposed to be towering trees, I like trees of the forest. Tree, towering trees of the forest. So that's C-T-O-T-F. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's see. Slave cargo for transport. John Bain, the Stygian. One-way passage to the exiled lands for, for the crimes of pickpocketing, breaking an oath, and also crude language. <laughs> cargo to be delivered in good health and condition unless the captain will... Uh, else, else the captain will offer one of his men to be taken in place of the prisoner. Well, they're just screwed all the way around because that ship is pieced out. I like how there's other scrolls around it, too. Confirming. Oh. Oh, he's leaning forward now. All right, here we go. All right, we're on a beach. We're near a ruin. Uh, looks like we have birdies in the sky. I've got a beautiful loincloth, and I just drank by picking a piece of wood. Okay. Uh, give me one second, too. I'm going to go ahead and set up some settings. I'm going to change the harvesting a little bit and the crafting times, but I'm leaving XP and everything else at default. So give me one second here. All right, I've set it up. I did times three on the harvesting. Nothing too crazy out of line. Um, this, this, this is actually the to lower tones and stuff that we normally do. Uh, XP gains are at like one. Everything's one. Um, I think I put the respawn timer just a tad bit faster. And then crafting speeds at 0.4 along with raw breaking speeds. Uh, just for continuity in a series. If anything else ever changes, uh, which I don't think it should, uh, definitely we'll let you guys know as you guys know I like to play the games how generally how they're intended with a little bit of a little flavor in there And that's the flavor because it helps us with the builderizations and um, I like building so Anyway, we're great. We're able to grab a good amount of branches and boards off of the the, the the beach here. That's pretty interesting What else do we have this way anything cool? Uh, there's some stones is that stones it looks like it's stones. Okay, so there's plenty of stones Let's grab a few of those to get us set up There we go. Okay. All right, so let's craft us up a pickaxe. And let's also craft us up a hatchet. And let's go to our feet and see here. We need to go ahead and grab a sword. There we go, so we can do the stone sword. We want that. 
There we go. And then also want to get a campfire. Where is that located? It's a primitive cook right there. Bam. Unlock you too. All right. And since I changed the settings, it has me in admin mode right now. That's why you see all this resetting availability here. Not really worried about that. All right. And now we just need to get some more stone and twine for uh, able ability to make a sword. So we're close on the stone stuff here. Let's go on this. Look at the ship here too and see how they did this. What do we got? Is that is that a box? Oh, that is a box. And there's stone in it. Very nice. Okay, cool. So they have chests around with the basic resources just chillaxing right now. And I don't think we can loot these trees. Nope. These bushes don't like us. That's unfortunate. Because I was beginning to like them. All right. We have stone. And how's the wood? We could stand to get more wood here. Oh, look. There's bodies. Can we do anything here? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Wait, where did it show? It? There it is. Corpse. Oh. Can I get... Her? Right. Yeah, you can. It's on her butt. Okay, so you point at the butt and then you can loot him. Okay, great. Another chest or some wood. Okay, that's kind of cool for starting off. A little bit of a push, so you got you can gather on the beach and then also look for chests, I guess, apparently. What are these? Oh, oyster flesh. Okay, so we can get oysters too. Nice. Excellent. Let's grab oh then more wood. Okay, I I can click on things. All right, we're getting close to back to these ruins. I did mess up, and I didn't put the uh, the gathering correctly. I was just noticing that, so I fixed the gathering. I put the item spoil uh, timer. I moved it back to um, default. Scavenger Coast discovered. Oh, we look, look at the map. Oh, okay. There's the map in its entirety there. I mean, that's I'm assuming where the tower is at. This was our current starting position. I'm assuming this is the other one, and they're probably the other ones are like here and here or something like that. The four different ones. That looks interesting up here. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. I like that. Now, what would be really neat is if we could come, we could actually like travel between the exiled lands and here once we got to a certain point or something on either. Oh, that's a bird. I don't feel comfortable with that bird there. Let's go ahead and grab some, some bushes here. We need to get a weapon. Most, uh, most things in any games are typically bad hasn't seen me yet we're good we're clear oh you can only loot that one time uh let's move over this way the, oh, there's another bush right there okay all right let's craft up the twine and how much do i need for a sword i'll have enough yes okay great all right we're crafting one i'm gonna move this oyster stuff over here we're gonna put this right there and i thought i said craft one and we'll have a sword at least we can defend ourselves and we leveled two earlier I'm gonna pop one in encumbrance. I'll pop one in strength. We'll do some vitality and maybe grit. Maybe do. I heard something. Let's see what happens. Let's see what. Let's find out what happens next time. Uh, let's move over here. I hear. There it is. Oh, it was, it was like set on the ground or something. It's coming at me. There we go. Right clicks. Crippled an enemy. I, that's just what I. Oh, there's another one right next to me too. And that one aggroed. I need some stamina back. Okay. Bam! Yeah! There we go. All right, let's go ahead. I guess we need some taste that meets us. Oh, wait. It moves? Oh, that's kind of cool. The rag... Usually with most... Uh, it, the, oh, I just gained some levels. Holy crap. Um, Oh, I, I did a few um journey steps, too, in this early level. So that should better be it. And there we go. Okay, so we get the feathers and the flesh. Okay, there's something going on. Yeah, the progression's right. Okay, the progression's right. We're okay there. I'm just getting a, a butt ton of levels right now. God dang. Um, let's throw in, let's do the same thing again. One in each for now. And then um, I kind of want to do, we'll do encumbrance grit and strength and we'll skip vitality this time oh there's eggs we got eggs right in front of us very nice we're actually kind of hungry I have oh, we need to make a campfire soon uh let's go and grab the eggs of egginess let's get a couple crunchy times on our throats there we go journey step eat um there we go and then i guess we could chop a tree down because we need some more oh we have 80 we have a good amount of wood all right, there's that. 
So the bush is here. Maybe we can put something down over here or something. What's there's another body? Is that is there another chest around here? Let me grab some more bushes. Okay, that's not too bad. Can we? Okay, what is that? Uh, there's, where's your butt? There's your butt. Found your butt. Okay, there we go. That's more wood. Huh? I wonder how quickly they respawn. Is there anything else in here while we're looking around before I make anything? E to interact. Oh, I got a water skin. And there's a skeleton reaching. Ow, oh, that's that's kind of oh, that's that's unfortunate. Sorry there, buddy. Sorry, not my bad. You're bad. I'm still alive. You aren't. Well, for now. All right, let's grab that. Okay, cool. So uh, we need to get a campfire down really quickly. A uh, bedroll would be nice too. Wonder if we could build anything yet. Let's check our feats here. Okay, salvager. That is one of the sets. Flotsam, pretty much a flotsam set. So we're taking the leftovers of the boats and pretty much making rudimentary shelter with it. Storm glass. Is that new? That looks like it's new. I, I, I'll be honest. Like I, I mean, I'm familiar with most of the DLCs, but Treehouse Foundation. Okay, I, I, I'm I'm familiar with most, but I don't know. Don't know. I think that was the other one. Okay, so what did we? We actually I was supposed to try and learn that. Honestly, Apprentice Mason check, and then we have the Salvager, which costs zero. So if you learn the Apprentice Mason, it does it. Okay, it might be doing the bug thing. It is. Okay. So what do we need here? Oh, wait, wait. Let's go into the feats and see. Uh, also in the building, we have eight available points to spend. All right. So if we want to do the stairs. Okay. So if we learn that one. And then is this the same? Yes, it is. And then for the fence, it's the same. Okay. But what do we need for that? That requires level nine. All right. Let's learn. Let's learn that too. All right. Cool. So uh, maybe we could build something here really close just to get our get get into what's you to interact. What's up? Oh, it's a book. Henry and Olivind Oivind came back from the forest. It should be safe enough there. They say I have I have a bad feeling about this and whatever the godforsaken storm is, it's coming closer. I've seen things in it in the storm. We will weather the storm and then push into the forest. M Mitra, be with us. Mitra, be with you too. Well. You can be with Mitra now. That's what we'll say. We'll say you're with Mitra now. Yeah, butts. Yeah, oh, that was kind of a suggested spot. All right. Um, like I said, let's see if we can make something. What do we need for this set? We need oh stone and wood. Okay, that works out. Uh, I'm almost encumbered too. Where's a nice quick spot to start at? Just to kind of get something going here. Huh. This looks interesting. Let's, let's just go ahead and clear out a little bit more stuff here. All right, and let's see. What can we do for... Wrong button. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this. Let's craft up. So a few of these. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this. Oh, I like how that looks. I like the outline a lot better, too. It's very... A lot more vibrant and easier to kind of see what's going on with it. Let's do something like this. Maybe come over to the side. And then can I make a couple more? Uh, do I need more? I just need more wood. Okay. I kind of want to leave uh, the tree will be going inside. We're going to chop this one. I kind of want to leave whatever we can around it. But if maybe it doesn't, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should just go and chop it all down. That looks like it would. It's still going to, it's going to clip inside. I don't like that. Come on, come on, come on. Quit punching stuff, man. And we'll craft up two more, maybe. All right. Oh, we just we created a home and look at the floors. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like raised and then there's wood below it. Oh, you can see that they go in different directions. Okay. Well, this is the first one. We're just, I'm not going to I'm not going to get too crazy fandangoed with it. You know what I'm saying? We'll just get it right first. Let's put this here. It looks okay. Okay. So maybe we could add some flavor and just make this also come out the front here like two. Like that. I kind of like that. I kind of like that for a floor design. And let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and get some mats together. And we'll try to build this up a place. Um, I'll get also see if we need to unlock the chests too. Which I'll do that now. And how many more points do we got? We got two more points. Okay, I'll put one in vitality and one in encumbrance. Since we're about to do some gathering. And I'll be right back. 
All right, I figured it's a little explored on the beach right quick. I tried to go after a deer, but it wasn't fast enough, not powerful enough yet. Um, and I'm on the map right here, which can I put a little thing here? I can. Let's see here, because there's something here. There's a cave thing. I wonder what's in here. Can we even swim far enough to find out what's in here? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, there is some. Oh, what's this? I may be a complete failure as a navigator, but I make an excellent thief. Valeria won't find me here, unfortunately. Valeria? Is it Valeria, Valeria? Unfortunately, nor will anyone else. I tore down the entrance while drunk on Valeria's personal stash. I have no idea if I can make it back out or not. At least I have these lovely drinks to comfort me as the air runs out. I'm so lucky. Okay, do you have anything on you I can loot? I'd love to get your armor, man. He looks like... Okay. Interesting. What do you have in the box? Oh, you have a jungle grog and desert wine to drink. Okay, and that's what you looted. That was what this is all about, right? All right, and I can't... All right, well, that's interesting. So there's a little cave here. And it doesn't look like there's anything else to get from this area. Yeah. Okay. And he just couldn't swim? Uh, or was his navigating skill so bad he didn't know there was a way out of the cave? Uh, oh, yeah. We, we needed to make uh, we need to make some armor, too. I forgot about that. I just wanted to see if there's any... What else is along, like, the beginning areas? If there's anything of interest out here. Uh, outside of the stones. And there's another deer. We'll try the deer again. Let's try another deer. Come here. Let's try this. Don't go anywhere this time. I missed this first swing, so I probably will not be able to beat it. Yep. Ah. Oh, got it. Another stack. And again. Yes. No, I'm out. Oh, my God. No. No, 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 no. I, I, get, I get you, Mr. Deer. Yes. Oh. Now, I haven't. The XP is at, like, default settings. And I really feel like I'm leveling fast. I don't know if it's for this preview that I've got or something. To see the content quicker or something. Or if that's just how it is. Uh, I have played on so many modded Conan servers. kind of forget the pacing. So that's that's interesting. Uh, we're like level 13 now already. It's probably just me not remembering uh, that that rose tinted glasses type thing going on. Uh, we'll get everything up to where it costs two points. Uh, I'm going to put another one in strength for now. Uh, just so we can like, defend ourselves better. The best defense is a strong offense, right? So it looks like there's just, just standard stuff out here. Nothing really to write home about. Let's go a little bit further and see. Just a little spore, and then we'll get back and get the base built together. That looks really cool. It's, it's hard to see when you're encumbered, too. Huh. There's a puppy dog over there. Okay, there's puppy dogs. There's some more deer. Okay, if we want that. And we did... Do we get... We got savory meat from the deer, too, which is nice. Um, and we need to eat, too. Uh, we do get the sated one, uh, sated buff, which is one point healing every three seconds, so it's really not all that great. Maybe we should have built over here. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and just look a little bit more around. If we see anything else, I will let you guys know. Okay, I got closer to this lighthouse area thing, and there's some ironstone here. So I didn't think I was going to iron stone this quickly, but we're getting some. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, my, mine all that iron. Okay, there we go. Is there any more around here? Is that... Yeah, that's another dog. Got to be careful. Um, That's pretty... Oh, that looks like there's some... Up, is that some up there? Is that a good dog or a bad dog? A bad dog. Aha! Tricked you! I don't see any here. Let's get up here. Hope it's safe. I didn't even bother to look to see where we're going. Um. You have any up here? On top. I don't see any. There's. Uh. That might be some like right there, but that dog's right there. What's over here then? Another dog. And it just saw me? Okay. At least there's a place I can jump up at. Flame in the east. Oh, there's some down there. I found some more ironstone. Nice. Can we get up there? 
Okay, you can take a break here. Since we don't have any armor on and we're not heavily encumbered, we should be able to make this, no problem. Oh, there's a stick up here. Can I grab it while I'm going? Yes, I can. Let's get up here. Oh, what is this? Oh, they have like a bonfire up here. That's so Oh, there's a box. Let's see, a wooden bowl, some iron bars, and so, okay, some wood, okay. Interesting. Uh, not much to look at out here, I mean, more water. How's this view? Oh, that's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Um, wait, there's, is that ironstone down there? Or is that just a weird lighting thing? It might be a weird lighting thing. Oh, it looks like ironstone. So there's a couple ironstone spawns around the, the, the lighthouse here, okay. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go and grab, yep, that is. Nice, it was hiding behind a rock. Oh, wow. There's a couple of them in here, is that what it is? Uh, I'm almost encumbered, man. It's gonna be a long walk home, but I think it'll be worth it just getting ironstone like this soon, on, 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 honestly. Oh my God, that's a decent amount. Is there any other ironstone up here? Oh crap, that pushed me off. <gasps> okay, we're okay, everything's fine. Let's find out, let me, let me get around this thing, see if there's anything. All right, welcome back. It's been a little bit of time. Um, I decided instead of going back to where we were gonna build the base set, I decided to build the base kind of close to the lighthouse area, which is right there. And we're near a bunch of cliffs. And uh, I went back to the other spot, I had to put a couple chests down um, to grab some of the, the stuff I had already gathered over there. Um, I ran across a decent amount of iron stone around the edges of the cliffs here. And then up in this direction, there is uh, some silver stone up here. So there's already, I've already got a little bit of silver stone and uh, I, got, I grabbed a little bit more ironstone. I'm, uh, we're not pushing that just yet, but we are gonna be pushing some builderizations already here. As you can see the foundations have been laid out and uh, it's a similar shape. I put this little piece out here cause I'm gonna make this like a double entrance. So uh, by the way, I've already unlocked the other uh, fences. Oh, we can get the, the gate. Ooh, we need to at least see what that looks like if I can make that, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, what about armor? Where are we at with armor? I can unlock that now. It takes two, yeah. And we need to look at our benches here. Oh, we need... There's the butcher. Uh, I'm getting iron tools already. Okay, well then... <laughs> we'll see how long it'll take to get in here. <laughs> here we go. There's that. The cauldron's there. Um, what are the, these? Are the, the the pet stuffs. Okay, there's a grinder here. That takes four. Sure, why not? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's see here. We have weapons. Let's go ahead and look at what we've got. There's the Kopesh. And what do we have here? 17. All right. Um, and how much does it cost to learn? It's just three. I'm going to go ahead and learn that too. Screw it. We'll just go for it. We'll go for it. Leveling seems extremely fast right now. Um, for some reason, I still, like, I'm at level 18. I, I It's just... And I double checked and I don't have any of the settings up any higher. So I'm not really sure what the deal is, but anyway, that's the deal. Um, let's see here. Here's some plots and walls. Let's do, let's just craft 20 of them. It's a frame, a sturdy wall made from salvage with a hole in it. You know how we're about holes. So we'll just go ahead and make a few of them. Let's make six. I do want at least two doors and well, doorways and then two doors. I do have some twine already crafted up here. So we'll craft two of those. And then um, I guess we'll need to do a couple of these and maybe maybe four of them. And then also four of these. There we go, those, they get all crafted up. So let's try this out here. Okay, let's put this outer wall up and see what it looks like here. Oh, that, that looks very uh, salvaged -y. It's funny we're using stone and wood, but I understand the costs, uh, you know, need to match up with the tier that it is. Um, but visually, it really is it's given the feel that we, we are definitely shipwrecked here. That's pretty cool. Let's try one of these windows and then one of the, Oh, that's interesting. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that... that okay. I kind of would rather have that an option to put in because if if all the windows look exactly like this, that might get a little bit, you know, tiresome, if you will. You know, a little fatiguing to see that. Can we do some stairs? Did I unlock? I did lock stairs. Stair. 
right here. Oh, we have a railed one. Let's try for three because I feel like this one might take more space up. So we're going to put this here, put this here, and then we'll take these guys and place them here. Cool. Let me do that. And let's put you here too. Um, let's go ahead and put a window here too. So when we get here, when we come back from a long day of gatherizations, we can walk up and, ah, look at that. Beautifulness. Beautifulness. All right. So this side, um, let's put, let's do this similar thing here. I don't know. Uh, oh good. I'm glad I didn't actually click that. And that can go like that. That can go like that. We'll put this here. Um, I feel like that should be like this. I feel like we should have like a, a balcony or something. Can we do ceilings? Ceiling. Here we go. Uh, two of those, please. Thank you very much. And then I guess we need another doorway then if we're going to do this. It would be interesting to see how it works out. And then we need a door. Okay. Let's grab the ceilings now. And I did find that the grating does rotate to the direction. So you can have a similar placement of floors if you want. So we'll do this one. I have them in the upper left. Like that. Um, and now uh, let's go ahead and grab our doorway. Let's put you on. Let's do, let's do this side. Yeah, let's do this side. And screw it. We'll put a, like a window thing up. That means we can try out the fences too. Um, we'll do one, two, three, and four. And then I guess we should do some pillars too. Hmm, I may want... I'm not running any mods, but I may want to see if G-Cam will work with this or not, because I do like some of the things that it has in there. Also, I like the lesser building placement restrictions mod, too. I'll, I'll be honest. Oh, those actually look pretty neat. Okay, um... Let's go this way. Let's get a little bit of drinking drink in us, too, man. And let's see, and then we'll take you... It's like a mass piece. Okay. And at least it looks like it's supported. I, I don't mind that. That actually looks okay. Like with the how, like it kind of gives that central support thing like a mass that would need anyway. And anyway, it looks pretty good. Pretty masterfully placed. <laughs> um, and yeah, I know. Can I remove? Okay, that's grass from the ground. There's nothing I could do about that. I didn't make it high enough. That's my own bad. So I'm not going to worry about it let's just put this one here and maybe just a ran uh well let's not put any windows on this side let's just make it like different and then this one can go here there we go we have a few windows up now now our width is an even width so we could do something like this and then we can take our angled pieces for a roof and do that and then we can add in our walls back over here to kind of fill it out some. And then this one here is you. And why is it? That seems like it's wrong. Is this wall wrong? No, that wall, that wall's right. That's interesting. So why did it do it like that instead of, huh? That's interesting. All right, we'll just do that then. Oh, it was right. Okay, there we go. Whatever. We'll make this happen. Now, I think right here, I kind of would like to do, maybe we could do it. Let's see. What's it take to make these roof pieces? Like, there's this flotsam roof here. We need uh, fiber and branches. Okay, let's try that out. Craft that. And then also, we're going to need some of these. We'll make 10 of them because we're going to need a few of them. So if I put this guy right here, like that, do we have a wall cap or something? We do. Oh, it's got a little pointy thing on it. Okay. Not mad at the pointy thingy. That might be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put one of these up here. Oh, that looks kind of nifty from the inside. All right. And then here, can we snap you onto it. We probably can't. Can we do it based off of this? We can. Can we throw you in the hole now? No, it's the same old Conan thing. That's fine. It's the same old 
All right, there's that, and this goes here. And now that I've already placed it, I probably can't put put it there too. Some of the old Conan builderization rules. It's, is it this one? Yeah, it was. Okay. Oopsie. I like how they're not exactly the same. Are these supposed to be the? It's the right one. That's the left one. Yeah. So one side is like more swoopy do. The other side is a little bit more straight lined. That's interesting. I, I kind of like that actually. It gives a little bit of variance to the feel. There's that back in the hole like it's supposed to be. Oh, I had these here already. Let's do that. Can we go up top here? Yeah, we can. Okay. There's that. Oh, awesome. That filled it in. Now we just need to get our, this guy here and put it back on the outside. Let's make sure it's facing the correct direction. Oh, wait, am, I, am I allowed to put this in after the fact? Yes. It has a little, oh, that's kind of neat. I like that. And it has, it looks like a little support going across it too. Interesting. So it's like we use sails to uh, make our roofing. And it looks like not too, not too, it could have been, it could have been any later because it looks like it's about to be storming outside. Let's go get some doors up so our interior is completely closed off. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and drop the stuff off. Now, I do have, like I said, I turned to the admin mode to change some of the server settings to, or the, the player settings, whatever it is, uh, to something uh, where I could move it around. And that means we could do the Ansel with free range. Uh, so let's try this out and look at this bad boy. Oh, no sound now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could have done a little better on that. And it's new building pieces, so just seeing how it likes to be. I do like how the porch worked out. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And uh, you probably, I don't know if you can see this on the recording or not. We'll re increase exposure some so you guys can see it better. Yeah, that's kind of nifty. That's interesting. That's definitely like a maritime feel to it versus like, you know, the standard issue, like desert wasteland kind of thing going on. So I do like that. That's nice. Awesome. Uh, we never made any basic armor, so I guess we should just go ahead and knock that out real quickly, because that would be smart, right? Because we've been running around butt naked the whole time, except for a loincloth, and that's not necessarily the best way to be in a survival situation. Uh, we need to at least get some, ooh, protection. Killer gray and savage white rhinoceroses. Killer white, wow. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh, there it is right there. There's, there it is. I saw it right there. Bam, let's make it. Let's make that. Let's make this, and let's make that. And we're getting clothed and we're moving along. And wow, it's kind of dark in here. I'm sorry. I guess we could make a torch. Do we have, what do we do for torches? Uh, torches. These ones suck, but hey, they work, right? Let's make that real quick too. Got our chest piece together. Okay, that's nice. Now we just need a hat because we're going to get sunburn. And we use the torch. And that is the time we got for today. Uh, I'll probably do some off-camera gathering, but I don't want to do too much with that, you guys, to kind of explore this. And um, I'm really excited. Again, big thanks to Funcom for an access, early access to this preview type stuff. And hopefully you guys are liking it. Let me know down in the comments below. But as always, thank you so very much. And you guys, have a good night.